The first step in writing a piece of content is to decide the topic of the content. Now I've already chosen my topic. My topic is going to be about a supplement called Prescript Assist. This is a probiotic and this would be a good match for my site on juicing. Now just to show you on Google if you search for Prescript Assist you've got shopping sites, you've got ads at the top because it's a product that's going to be commercial sites. So Prescript Assist products, that's the website that makes and sells it. We've then got some Amazon listings and we've got another store here. So the top 10 are going to have a lot of stores selling Prescript Assist, but I'm not going to let it deter me. You'll see there that I've actually searched for Prescript Assist Broad Spectrum Probiotic and that's because I was having a look down the keywords and this is a fairly long tail keyword, Prescript Assist broad spectrum probiotic. Now a quick word about long tail keywords. I don't go after long tail keywords specifically. What I'll do is I'll write about a topic and then hopefully my page will be found for dozens or even hundreds of long tail keywords. And these will be long tail keywords that I have no idea beforehand that they would even be searched for. Neither would the Google Keyword Planner because the Google Keyword Planner doesn't give you all the data. So our idea is to pick a topic, in this case Prescript Assist, write a con piece of content about it and hopefully the way we're going to write it will attract lots and lots and lots of searches for dozens or even hundreds of long tail keywords. I've picked this one Prescript Assist Broad Spectrum Probiotic, not because it's specifically what I want to rank for, although I hope I will, but because it'll help keep me on, on task here. We've got Prescript Assist is the product, Broad Spectrum Probiotic, that's what it is. So this is a good working title for my article as well. So let me copy that and open up Web Content Studio. What I've done is I've created a new article, I've called it Prescript Assist Broad Spectrum Probiotic and I've added that as the title at the top of the article just to remind myself of what I'm focusing on. The next step is to actually find the topics that we're going to write about within Prescript Assist Broad Spectrum Probiotics. So I'm going to go over to the keyword tool and I'm going to paste in the keyword into the spider. I'm going to leave it set as the one click spider spider method three. I'm going to increase this to detail level four just because I'm in the research phase and I want to find a little bit more. I could even do it up to five but that will take a little bit longer and return quite a lot more keywords and I think four is fine. Let's click on the one click spider button and the tool is now going away and finding the top ten pages, downloading them, getting the keywords off those pages. One thing that I have done is in my ignore list I've got Amazon, I've got eBay, I've got YouTube, I've got the Google Play Store, iTunes, Pinterest. These are all being ignored by the spider. The reason I do that is that they don't usually contain very useful keywords, so there's no point having the spider using them up. If you're only analyzing 10 URLs from Google, there's no point analyzing URLs like Amazon.com in many cases. The spider is still continuing, it's doing some initial screening. And I'm going to leave this running in real time so that you can see how long this spider actually takes. Right now it's doing an initial analyzing of theme words. That's one word keywords that it's found and it's trying to filter them, trying to find out which ones are the most important so that you're not bothered with irrelevant words and phrases later on. This is probably the longest phase, analyzing theme words. It will then analyze two word phrases, three word phrases and four word phrases but as you'll see in a moment, that is much, much quicker. Okay, that's the theme words. Two word phrases is quicker still. And when it's finished, you are presented with the LSI keyword screen where you can see the one word phrases which have been sorted for me. And on the right hand side theme phrases, this is two or more word phrases that have appeared on those pages that have been analysed as well. You get the keyword or the phrase followed by a pipe and followed by a number. The number is the number of pages in the top 10 or the 10 URLs that were analysed that that word appears on. So health appears on 10 of the top 10 pages for that phrase. It goes all the way down to words that appear on four or more. If you choose level three detail, then this will be 
only showing you the ones with five or more. And if you choose level five, I think it may go down to three or more and then XX it'll go down to words that appear on two or more pages. I can't guarantee that's correct. I think from memory that that's correct. But th level three or level four is ideal. So these theme words are in order. The ones that appear at the top of the list are the more important. Same with theme phrases. Now the way theme phrases work is slightly different. So although some of these may only appear on two pages, like immune support only appears on two of the top 10, doesn't mean to say it's not important because theme phrases are more difficult to get correct. There are too many synonyms. There's, for, for each word in there, immune and support, immune can have its own synonym, so can support. So that same phrase may be reworded in a different way. So just because it appears on two or more pages doesn't mean it's not important. And the way I use theme phrases more often is to help me to theme the article and find the topics that I need to write about. So let's have a quick look down those theme phrases and see what I'm talking about. At the very top, we've got broad spectrum, and that would probably be part of broad spectrum probiotic. It's got broad spectrum and spectrum probiotic. So we can actually delete that. It's not that important. Gut health. So the main feature of this probiotic is it improves your gut health. And if we keep going down, again, I can delete these ones because they are part of assist. That should actually be prescript assist. So let me even type that in. So you see, you can edit these as you go. Prescriptasis, broad spectrum, probiotic. That was the main keyword that we typed in. No, only six of the top 10 actually includes that phrase, which is not unusual because Google doesn't always rank pages that have exact phrases in the page. It's the words that make up the content. It's the theming of that content, which helps it rank, not the fact that it has a specific phrase in the page. Prescriptasis, probiotic supplement. Then we've got some bacteria here. So this, these are bacteria which I presume are found inside the probiotic or talked about anyway when you're discussing prescriptasis. So this is good information to know because it's information I can use on my page. We've got some more bacteria here. GI tract. Well, obviously that's gastrointestinal tract, which again is important because that's what the whole point of this. It's related to the digestive system. There we go, intestinal tract. Got another bacteria there. This is a proprietary blend, so there's maybe another good phrase to get in there. And important to know that this is a unique blend of bacteria in this probiotic. So all the time I'm getting ideas for my article. Beneficial bacteria, 29 strains. It's soil based, so those bacteria come from the soil rather than from dairy products. Let's keep going down. Mimic natural flora, um, immune support. So this is important for immune support, overall health. We can talk about side effects there because that's important as well. People want to know about the side effects. So we've got some good ideas there and we can also get a few more ideas, perhaps if we go down the keywords, but normally for structuring my articles, I'll use the theme phrases. So the next step then is to take this and to go and create a skeleton article from these theme words and phrases. So with those theme phrases cleaned, all I need to do is click on save to article and you can see now that those theme words and theme phrases have been inserted into my skeleton article here. As I'm planning out an article, I like to go and visit some of the pages in the top 10 to find some information that is relevant to the content I'm writing. I also go through my theme phrases and theme words. And so I've written a skeleton plan here. We've got prescriptasis, broad spectrum probiotic. In fact, this also contains a prebiotic, which is something that the probiotics, the probiotics of the bacteria, prebiotics are actually the food of probiotics. So it comes with probiotics and a little bit of food to get them started. So then I'm going to have a little bit of an introduction to why bacteria in the gut are important and talk about them being the first line of defense and boosting the immune system. Now, obviously, this is an article about a supplement. So why do we need a supplement? Because our ancestors didn't have the supplement before. And the reason is that the natural food contained the probiotics and prebiotics, but they don't anymore because of agriculture and the way we farm today. So then we've got 
another section here about prescriptorsis features and we're going to have a bullet list and benefits of good bacteria and again we'll have a bullet list of the benefits and then a list of all the bacteria in prescriptor cyst. You'll remember that we've got lots and lots of bacteria here that are included in this probiotic. So we'll have a list and then we'll finally look at the side effects. So by doing the initial keyword research, going through the theme phrases and theme words and also some of the pages in the top 10 that rank for this phrase, I was able to put together quite quickly, quite easily an outline for the article that I'm going to write. The next task we need to do is go in and do a little bit more research on some of the existing content on the web to find out a little bit more about, for example, prescriptor cyst as a first line of defense and how it boosts the immune systems and why soil based is good. So we need to go back to Google, go back and do a little bit of research and find out a little bit more information so we have enough information to write about. And I'll show you how you can keep all of your notes inside Web Content Studio so that they're always there when you need them.